Hi there. I am representing WebTrackOfficial.com. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at WebTrackOfficial.com. In this video I'll show you, how to optimize your WordPress website for Google using Yoast SEO. With Yoast SEO it becomes easy to optimize your website. In this video we will configure your website with this plugin, set up titles and meta descriptions for your pages and blog posts, link your website with Google. Keep in mind that Yoast SEO is not a magic tool that will bring your website to page 1 on every search you wish. But it will definitely help you to be found better in the search engines. Also, 84% of the viewers haven't subscribed to my channel. Come on people what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel for these kind of awesome videos. Alright, let's get started. First of all, download this plugin. We're gonna be using the free version of Yoast SEO. Now log into your WordPress dashboard. Hover on plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin and choose your file. Click install now. Now click on activate plugin. Plugin is now successfully installed. First, we need to optimize the site's data. So to optimize it, from the left sidebar, a new option is available to us now called SEO. Hover on it and click general. Scroll down. And click on start SEO data optimization. It will start the optimization process, which includes speeding up your website, and set up internal linking structure. Optimization is now completed successfully. Now go back to the general tab of the menu. Now we need to configure the SEO for our site using the first time configuration wizard. Click on configuration wizard link. Now we need to complete all these steps. The configuration wizard will walk you through the common setup questions and automatically set up some of the basic features. It helps you to easily configure your site to have the optimal SEO settings. Now, the first question determines whether you want your site to be indexed or not. If your website is complete and ready, choose the first option. But if your site is under construction, choose second option. I highly recommend you to first complete your website, then come back to this configuration wizard. It's a good thing to start the SEO of a website when it's live and ready. Since my site is ready, I will choose the first option. Click Next. Now for the second question you need to specify, what kind of website do you have? Since I am providing digital marketing services, so I am gonna choose small offline business. But if you are representing an e-commerce website, choose the second option which says, an online shop. If you're representing a blog website, choose, a blog. Choose respectively. Click Next. Now for the third step you need to specify, is it you or an organization? WebTrack is an organization so I will choose organization. Now type the name. Now upload your logo. Ok. Now enter the links of all your social profiles that you use. I am gonna enter mine. Click Next. For the fourth step you need to specify, what content types you would like to appear in search engines. 
I want my post to show in search engines. I want my pages, as well as landing pages in search engines. But I don't want my templates to show, so I am gonna select, no. I want testimonials to show in search engine. And for the rest, I am gonna select, no. But if you want anything to show in search engine, choose yes. Now review your settings. And click next. Now you need to specify if your site have multiple authors. WordPress generates author pages. And if you write all the content on your blog yourself, your blog page will show the exact same collection of posts as your author page. Which, indeed, is duplicate content. Google will get confused, so I would recommend you to choose no for that. Click next. Sixth step is the title settings. On this page you can change the name of your website and choose which separator to use. The separator will display between your post title and site's name. Choose one of the separator from below. Let me show you what separators are. These are the separators in between. So it's best to choose the dash separator. It looks cool. Click next. In this step, I will recommend you to allow Yoast SEO to track your site's data, in order to get best user experience. Click next. Now for the final step, if you want to subscribe to Yoast SEO newsletter and get access to their free course, go ahead and sign up here. Scroll down and click next. And congratulations, Yoast SEO is now successfully configured. Click close. Now if you want to reopen the configuration wizard, just click on this link which says, reopen the configuration wizard. Now click on Webmaster Tools tab. Google, Bing, Baidu offers Webmaster Tools for website owners in order to monitor their website performance, and how their site interacts. Google Search Console offer website owners to monitor mobile usability issues, coverage, inspect URL for any issues, enhancements, site links search box and much more. So you definitely need to verify your website with Google Webmaster Tool. So to verify your site with Google, open a new tab and type, Google Search Console. Click on the first link. Here click on Start Now. Here you first need to verify your property. Under the URL prefix, type in the link of your website. Click continue. Here you need to verify your ownership in order to gain access to all of the features. You can either verify using HTML file, or you can verify by HTML tag. I am gonna choose HTML tag, so to choose it, scroll down. And click on HTML tag tab. Now copy this meta tag. Go to your dashboard and paste it under Google verification code. Now click Save Changes. Now go back to the Search Console. Under the HTML tab, click Verify. Here you can see, the ownership is verified. Once you're verified, you will gain access to all of the features, just click go to my property. Here you can see, we're now officially inside of our Google Search Console dashboard. Now you can monitor your website with complete control and work on the errors you are facing. Monitor your website's performance. But wait! How will Google crawl through your website? Well that's where sitemaps come in. A sitemap is a file where you provide information about the pages, videos, and other files on your site, and the relationships between them. A sitemap is a roadmap that is followed during the development of a website. It outlines the goals and purposes of a site. You need that sitemap in order for Google to crawl through your website for indexing. 
So Yoast SEO has already created a sitemap for us, we need to access it. Go to your dashboard and click on Features tab. Scroll down and you will see the XML sitemaps option. Click on the little question mark icon. Now click on CXML sitemap link. This is the sitemap that Google needs to crawl through your website for indexing, and thanks to Yoast SEO for creating it for us. Now just copy the link. Go to the Search Console. Click on Sitemap option. Paste the link here. Click Submit. Sitemap submitted successfully. Now Google will crawl and let you know for changes you need to make. Now if you see this error, couldn't fetch. Just refresh the page. To check whether Google has indexed your site or not, just type site colon yoursite.com. We just submitted the sitemaps, so in order to see the complete and proper indexing results, Check back in 48 hours. Now from the left sidebar, under SEO, click on Search Appearances. On this page you can review all of your settings that you have made this far. We're in the General tab of Search Appearances. You can change the separator type. You can change the organization name, you can replace your logo. But keep this in mind, that if your site is already indexed, and you make some changes in the post title, or logo, meta description, these changes will not show immediately in Google. You need to wait for Google, for its next indexing period. Now go to content types. Here you can set, whether you want your post to show in search results or not, you can add title and meta description. Boo make sure one thing. The title and meta description here will be applied globally. It means it will apply to all the posts that you have created. But we don't need that. Every post has its own unique title and description, and we need different keywords for every post, so how can we do that? Don't worry. Just keep watching this video, I'll show you. But first let me show you, how you can change the title here. If you want to remove item in title, just select it and hit backspace. Now to insert. Click on Uninsert Variable, and choose your desire option. You can also type manually. Same for the meta description. If you don't see any variable here, just type, percentage, and type E, X and select the excerpt option. Excerpt is a short snippet that appears as a preview of your blog post. And after that save your changes. And similarly you can do this to all items below. Now we are going to do the SEO for individual post and page. So I am going to start with my landing page. Under Home, click Edit. Here you can see, in the right sidebar, we have the Yoast SEO tab in which we can see the readability analysis and SEO analysis. As you can see, the readability analysis is green which is considered as good. But the SEO needs improvement. So scroll down. And as you can see, we have the whole new world here. Here we can make improvements in our SEO. First let me show you the readability tab. Here you can see, all the items are green except from transition words. The items with the red mark means, that these items need improvements, and the green one means that they are completed. If you see the orange mark on any item, it means it's good, but not good enough, so a slight change can make it better. Since my overall readability analysis is green, so I am not going to do anything here. Instead, let's improve our SEO. Now here, you need to enter your main focus key phrase. The focus key phrase is the phrase that you want your post or page to be found for, in search engines. Sometimes, it is a single word, but it usually consists of a few words. That's why it's a key phrase. For example, if you want your blog post to rank for healthy snacks, then optimize your post for that term. 
so I am gonna enter mine. Here you can see, just by entering keyphrase, SEO analysis turns orange. Keyphrase plays an important role. Here you can see the Google preview. How it will look on desktop and mobile. Now for my title, I don't want it to show like that. So under SEO title, insert variable or type manually. Now for the slug, change it according to your key phrase. Now for the meta description, you can insert the excerpt. But I am going to enter it manually too. Here you can see, my SEO analysis also turns green which means that we are all set with SEO. Now it just depends on Google when he indexed this site again. Under the SEO analysis tab, you can see the results. Here you can see the items with problems which are red. Improvements which are orange, and good ones in the green. You can make changes according to the improvements needed. The plugin will guide you through the process. Similarly you can do the same for all of the necessary pages, as well as the posts. Just enter keyword, enter title and description, and make improvements. So that was the complete SEO tutorial for beginners. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.